My name is Tom Murphy. I'm a professor of physics at the University of California at San Diego. Most of my career I've spent studying astrophysics, but recently changed direction a bit and wrote a new textbook on energy and the environment called Energy and Human Ambitions on a Finite Planet. My research interests until now have been focused on general relativity and testing astrophysical ideas using telescopes, building apparatus, and just exploring the universe, which has been a great and fun ride and uh, has plenty of rewards. Astrophysics is accustomed to looking at the very biggest picture and the entire universe, drawing a box around the entire system and understanding what is and is not possible, what physics allows. It's a way of thinking about systems. And also I would say being an instrumentalist and building equipment, I've learned what works and what doesn't work and to pay attention to those compromises. So. When I approached the subject of teaching general education course on energy and the environment, I thought I was going to piece together how our shiny future was going to incorporate various renewable technologies and allow us to basically carry on business as usual, but just shinier. And what I discovered in the process is that it's not so easy. We have some fundamental things that are set against us and some assumptions that are damaging in the end. Growth and energy resources and deforestation and any ecosystem damage, these are things that are out of control and are not sustainable in the long term. At its core, the fundamental problems that we're facing are having to do with growth and our use of resources and you know, these finite installments of fossil fuels and other mineral resources on the planet that are basically like an inheritance. And we're spending this inheritance really as fast as humanly possible, literally. And that's not a good plan for the long term because these resources are finite. The time scale over which we really need to worry about this is not as long as, as many think. It's, it's this century we should expect to uh, encounter real limits in our ambitions. If we want to succeed in the long term, we have to be sustainable. Climate change is a piece of this story, but it's the tip of the iceberg, it's the visible part. But the part of the iceberg that hurt the Titanic was underwater and invisible. I like to think of it as a fireworks show that we were born into. And that's all we've ever known for generations. It's all we've ever seen. So. That's a bad model. It can't go on forever. It won't go on forever. Physics says that it won't, can't. And the sooner we recognize that, the sooner we can make a plan to, to go a new direction. That's why I wrote the textbook, is to sort of lay out the, the physics behind um, what the possibilities are and what the possibilities are not. It's important to know what we can't do as well. Almost none of the practices that we employ today are at all compatible with a 10,000 year lifespan. I talked about the inheritance that we're spending as rapidly as humanly possible, and that's not a prescription for sticking around. So in the end, the word success, if we want to be success, means sustainability, period. Full stop, total sustainability. Anything that's unsustainable leads us to failure. So almost everything we do today is actually digging the hole deeper and putting us one step closer to failure of the human enterprise. That's something I would hate to see happen. And so we have to pay attention to these long time scales because we have the power to harm ourselves and the planet. Um, and I think of it now as gnawing on the power cord that goes to the life support machine called the Earth and its ecosystems that keeps us healthy and, and alive. I hope that this textbook that I've written can reach new audiences and get them to reevaluate assumptions and act as sort of a bucket of cold water to break the spell of this immersion in a very abnormal period of human history so that we can use the tools of science, physics and math, to understand what things that we're doing are not possible to continue, what things would be um, long-term sustainable, and also illustrate that th there are only so many magic rabbits that can come out of the hat.